Hey, this is Brad Page with Russon. I'm here in the Russon Bat Cave with Joe Dion from Tech Support. Joe is going to show me how you add an MBX Pre to an existing MCA 66 or MCA 88 system. So I've got an MBX Pre here. Obviously, the first step is to plug it in. So let's say I've got some other devices already plugged into my MCA. I want to add this as source 3. I would take the line level well out here into source 3 on the MCA. Exactly. And then what is my next step? All right. So real simple. Uh, important to know, but simple, is you have to go into your MBX. I mean, you have to go into your MCA, right? Yeah. So you're in the setup config, web config for the MCA. Exactly. So you go to your source settings. Right? In this case, it's going to be source number three here. Right. Right? We'll just call it, I'll just real quick make a quick change here. I'm going to call it MBX. Yep. And then over to the right here, you hit edit. And see, we're still in source three. Edit. Yep. And then the device type, this is the key. You need to choose Rust Sound Media Streamer. Right there. And that's important because... Well, because the MCA knows that there's a streamer out there to communicate with. So it when knows you do this, that... It knows a specific device that it's trying to control rather than just some right. generic... It just doesn't know it until you tell it. Right. So this is our way of telling, hey, MCA... You've now got an MBX connected to you. Exactly. So that's it for the MCA. And then the next thing, if you look in the right-hand corner, I can toggle between multiple devices on the same network. Mm -hmm. There's my MBX Pre... So you go into your MBX Pre. Once it's unlocked, right? You know, you take through the basic setups. It's not. Yeah, we're basic. we're assuming you've already done the basic not, process. Yeah, exactly. Not not complicated, but this is the key setup for this: is you choose setup, and if you notice, the device mode right here it says zone mode. It comes pre-configured that way, so you could just take it out of the box, unlock it, plug it into an amp or anything you want, and use it. Right. But with this case, because it's being used with an MCA. And the Rust Sound app and the MCA are working to control this. You want to put it in source mode, right, right there. So when you're using the MCA to control the MBX, you want the MBX to be in source mode, right? And then if you look here, here's our option where we're going to select that source. Source Again, three, source number three. Yep. And it's applying the changes. And Brad, that's that's really that's, that's pretty it. much it. Yeah. So the next time you pull up your app on your phone, you will see the MBX there as one of your sources. Exactly. You all the fun things you want to do with right. the MBX. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a real quick and dirty version of how you add an MBX to an MCA 66 or 88 system. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again next time.